I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the subscribers for posting excellent questions. The question here is, find solution of y equals to x to the power of 4 minus 5x square plus 4 using factor theorem. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's look into the meaning of factor theorem. What do we understand from factor theorem? Basically, factor theorem tells us that uh, x minus b is a factor of polynomial say p of x if and only if p of b is equal to 0, right? So when we say p of b is 0, what do we mean? We mean remainder is 0. Remainder is 0, right? That makes sense. Factor means the remainder is 0, right? So normally, if I have to divide a number, let's say, let's say if I divide 20 by, by a number, let's say, let's say 3, uh, then I get 3 times 6 as 18 and I have a remainder which is 2. So that means 3 is not a factor of 20, right? So that means 3 is not a factor of 20, correct? However, if I divide by 4, the remainder is 0. So 4 is a factor. So this is a simple concept which we have learned and which we are going to apply. Now, we have learned one more thing to find possible factors. So we'll use two things here. One is factor theorem itself. And then, what are possible factors? Now, the possible factors are, let me write down the equation now. We'll straight go to the equation. Uh, in function notation, we could write this as a polynomial as a function of x equals to x to the power of 4 minus 5x squared plus 4. I'm keeping it simple for the time being since this coefficient is 1. So I'm not taking the case ax plus b, okay? Now, in this particular situation, when a is 1, when a equals to 1, means leading coefficient is just 1. In that case, what are the possible factors? Well, in that case, possible factors are are factors of the number 4, right? If there was some number here, then be number 4 and divided by the factors of that number. So I'm not getting there. Okay. So that really means that the possible values of b could be, that means, this implies, that b should be equal to factors of 4 means plus minus 1, plus minus 2, and plus minus 4. So these are six values which you should try and then see which values work, right? So, so the idea here is to use factor theorem is to just plug in these values one by one, right? And uh, maximum we can get 4, right? So we get maximum 4 factors. Correct? So if I write the value, let us say 1 to start with. So I get 1 to the power of 4, which is 1, minus 5, plus 4. This is indeed 0. So that means x minus 1 is a factor. You get the idea now it is a even function do you see that so p minus 1 will also be a factor so if i write minus 1 to the power of 4 i get 1 minus 5 plus 4 is indeed equals to 0 this implies that x plus 1 is also a factor minus of minus one. you get an idea right uh, so we can try so we both these works so let's try 2 so if i try p of 2 what do I get? 2 to the power of 4. That means 2, 4, 8, 16. Okay. 
minus 2 square is 4, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4. That is also 0. And since this is even function, we get minus 2 also equal to 0. Does make sense to you? So we can always write factors of this. So let me rewrite the answer as uh, we could write this function y equals to x to the power of 4 minus 5x squared plus 4 should be equal to x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. To get to this result, we have just used factor theorem and that is what this question really means. So I hope the concept is clear. Find the solution using this. Solution will be that x is equal to, when we say solution, we are trying to find zeros. So we write down our answer, answer as x equals to plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. Okay, so that is how it should be solved. I hope the concept is well taken. Feel, feel free to post your comments, share my videos and if you like, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.